Hello and welcome to this GCSE Science Additional Physics Revision video on mains electricity. In this video we will look at alternating and direct current, cables and plugs, fuses and power, voltage, energy and charge. There are two types of electrical current, direct current and alternating current. An electric circuit can be produced by moving a magnet from side to side in a coil of wire. The size of this induced current can be increased by moving the magnet faster or by using a stronger magnet or by increasing the number of coils. A dynamo is a type of generator that works in this way. If the current flows in only one direction, it is called a direct current. Batteries and cells supply a direct current, with a typical battery supplying maybe 1.5 volts. The diagram on the oscilloscope screen shows that the current is only flowing in a single direction, as it only goes along one side, so the positive side in this case, of the graph. If we increase the current, then, or increase the voltage, then the level of the line would also increase. If the current constantly changes direction, it is called an alternating current. Mains electricity is an alternating current supply, with the UK mains supply being at around 230 volts. It has a frequency of 50 Hz, which means it changes direction from positive to negative 50 times a second. The diagram to the right of the screen shows this happening. The features of a plug are, the case is made from tough plastic or rubber because these materials are good electrical insulators. The three pins are made from brass which makes them good conductors of electricity. There is a fuse between the live terminal and the live pin. The fuse breaks if the current is too much, so it stops the current from flowing. The cable is secured in the plug by a cable grip. This should grip the cable itself and not the individual wires at either side. This is stop the cable from being pulled out. A mains electricity cable contains two or three inner wires. Each has a core of copper because copper is a good conductor of electricity. The outer layers are flexible plastic because plastics are good insulators. The inner wires are colour coded. A blue wire is for the neutral, a brown wire is for the live, and the wire that has green and yellow stripes is the earth wire. Many electrical appliances have metal cases including cookers, washing machines and refrigerators. The earth wire creates a safe route for the current to flow to if there is a short circuit. There are two main types of fuses that you can be asked about. There are normal fuses in which a fuse wire melts or there are circuit breakers. The circuit breaker does the same job as normal fuels, fuse, but works in a different way. A spring-loaded push switch is held in a closed position by a spring-loaded soft iron bolt. An electromagnet is arranged so that it can pull the bolt away from the switch. If the current increases beyond a set limit, the electromagnet pulls the bolt towards itself, which releases the push switch into the open position. This therefore will create a short circuit or a breaking circuit so the current will be turned off. The fuse breaks the circuit if there is a fault in the appliance that causes too much current to flow. This protects the wiring and the appliance if something goes wrong. The fuse contains a piece of wire that melts easily. If the current going through the fuse is too great, the wire heats up until it melts and breaks the circuit. 
Electric charge is measured in coulombs. The amount of electric charge that moves into a circuit depends on the current, current flow and how long it flows for. So the equation for it is that charge is equal to current times by time. For a given amount of electrical charge that moves, the amount of energy transferred increases as the voltage increases. The equation below shows the relationship between the energy transferred and the voltage and charge. So energy transferred is equal to voltage times by charge. The more energy that is transferred in a certain time, the greater the power. So therefore, a 100 watt light bulb transfers more electrical energy each second than a 60 watt light bulb. The equation for this is that power is equal to current times potential difference. So remember, when revising, start earlier rather than later. It's important with lots of physics questions that you keep asking yourself and keep going through questions where you are using the equations. Use a variety of other different revision things such as flashcards. Good luck with your physics exams.